yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Emmy Token, and we're here to talk about EA's announcement about UFC 5. And I'm just going to let you know, people, that I didn't know that there was going to be a UFC 5 event. Matter of fact, I just found out while looking through some of the stuff about UFC 3 because I haven't played UFC 4 in a minute, and I'm not going to play that game again because... Basically, this was a bigger downgrade from UFC 3 because UFC 3, well, well, I, I can't say that because, well, no, let me start over. UFC 4, it basically took away most of the stuff that UFC 3 had, like combat systems, like, like, you were able, like the one thing I liked about UFC 3 was I was able to, like, fucking German suplex everybody and knock them out if I got the damage and their damage system like very low that sort of thing but I'm not about to talk about that right now let's talk about this right here you from Game Informer uh, from Game Informer EA Sports announced a UFC 5 full reveal coming in September EA Sports official announces by Electronic Arts their fifth iteration Long presumed to be in development, but the UFC's 10 pool international fight week over the weekend, EA Sports and the UFC made it official. While no additional details were revealed outside of the logo, we know that a full reveal is coming in September of this year. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing this game would be out. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's still in the the full world will come in September. So I'm guessing maybe by 2024 or maybe 20 or late, like late 2023, maybe by Christmas, by the time this game be out. I don't know. Don't ask me because I don't got the info of when it's going to be out. So don't ask me about that. I have no possible idea. But I'm, if it's going to be like a straight up. Uh, straight up carbon copy system of UFC 4 then I, I'll just wait for it to come up come up on on EA play and just play for free on there because UFC 4 was kind of a letdown for me plus they really did fuck over Tyson Fury in that game like bro I don't know whose cousin that was but yo that was not the Gypsy King they they made this man straight up from a creative fighter from 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 cough creative fire because i don't know who that was but that wasn't on tyson fury yeah you can give him his, his trunks you give him everything like the height lens all that stuff but that was no tyson fury like uh undisputed got tyson fury right more much more than ufc4 and speaking of you uh, speaking of undisputed i haven't heard any news any more news about undisputed so my expectations for that game is pretty much dead in the water because that was on my list because i i haven't played a decent boxing game like an actual like boxing game since fight night champion i've been playing fight night round three on the 360 because i i got it for cheap at my last job and well i've been basically playing the I've been basically playing that and NASCAR 06, what, NASCAR 06, um, Total Team Control, what, 06 or 07, doesn't really matter at this point, I ain't talking about that right now, I ain't talking about NASCAR Total Team Control for, for that right now, but, anywho, let's continue on from where we're at, EA Sports UFC 5 marks the longest gap between entries since the series introduction, introduction. The first EA UFC game arrived in 2014. The game's arrival, every, the game have, have arrived, excuse me, can't speak, every two years, with UFC 2 arriving in 2016, UFC 3 in 2018, and UFC 4 in 2020. The series has traditionally been developed by EA Vancouver, so the expectation with this entry as well, but no official confirmation has been provided by EA one way or another on that front. EA Sports. Yeah, UFC 5 will also mark the first game to launch the series for the since the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS hit the marker. So we might be able to expect a leap forward in terms of graphical fidelity or performance. How about PC? Hello? 
How about PC? You gonna leave us out too? I mean, shit. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy this PC, this um, Dell G15 for nothing. Shit. I didn't buy this for nothing. And actually, I should have went ahead and saved a little bit more money for the Alienware. But hey, I, I gotta give a shout out to my teacher for recommending me this laptop because I absolutely do love this laptop. I kind of need more memory, memory, but 16, 16 gigabytes worth of memory and a fucking terabyte worth of uh, wait six no sorry I got I got it reverse sixteen megabyte uh, sixteen gigabytes worth of RAM and um fucking one terabyte worth of you know hard hard drive space yo I really I do gotta give a shout out to my teacher and once I once I do get a little bit more money for my job bro I'm looking into like some more storage space for my um for my uh, for my laptop because yo I've already got like enough stuff filled already. I'm not expecting nothing. I don't have no expectations for this game. I really have no expectations for UFC 5. I didn't even realize that there was going to be a UFC 5. Like, I was so done and over with with 4. Because I'm having a lot more fun playing UFC 3. And I'm about to look at more uh, videos from Jev. From Face Jeff about him uh, about him playing as Requies, the demigod in UFC three and UFC two, because that that's a lot more fun than playing UFC four right now, because well Jeff was actually was going to do a UFC for like a whole fledged UFC four career mode, but he dead ass stopped, and quite frankly after playing it myself, I don't blame him, and I I wish I never did bought uh, never did bought this game to begin with, because they did this game so damn dirty man like it really isn't good to me to me i don't know how it is for you but to me the game really isn't all that oh this mic is on okay the mic is on i couldn't see the the, the thing over but yeah ufc 4 launched in august 14 2020 and introduce various customization options as well as the new grappling system taking on physics. Yo, the fucking physics in UFC 3 was a lot better before the, before there was an update. Because before there was an update, I swear I think the Red Dog physics were a lot better than what it was with the update with it. Same thing with UFC 4 when I first played it. It seemed like the Red Dog physics was a lot a lot was a little bit better, but when they had um updated it a little bit like let's say you knock down like you knock down your your fighter your opponent against the cage like it will literally just like glue and well it would just snap to the cage if you if you were like near the cage it would, if you knock down your opponent with like a jab uppercut or whatever near the cage the opponent would just it automatically just snap towards the cage and you'll be able to pound him up until he gets up or up and, or till he gets knocked out i don't like that part and the physics like when you knock somebody out it seems like it's set on certain motions like with fight night champions like if you knock somebody down depending on if you knock them with the knock them down with the jab or knock them down with the hook on from the from the from the head or the body it's like it's predetermined motions and i think there's like maybe a I want to say maybe I, I don't want to guess the numbers of it because I'm not sure because I haven't played Finite Champions in a little bit and I haven't played UFC 4 in a minute so I can't actually say right now I might have to I might have to put this in put this in my um, Xbox and play it and to see again because I want to make sure I get my information right but it really wasn't all that because I would prefer the the ragdoll physics from previous iterations of UFC games, especially UFC Undisputed and maybe UFC EA Sports MMA than UFC 3 and definitely UFC 4. I mean, EA, um, EA Sports, UFC 3 and 4. Excuse me. But yeah, I don't know when the game is coming out. Yeah, okay, okay. So forget what I said about 
forget what I said about it coming out late Christmas or sometime in 2023 because this year is almost over, y'all. It's damn near August. It's just about to be. It's just about to be August. In a couple more days, y'all, it'll be August. And Lord have mercy, in a few more days, it'll be my birthday. Happy early birthday! Happy early birthday to me. I'm surprised I have made it this. They made it this far, but I'm absolutely blessed and highly favored to made it this long in life. I am thankful for the people I have. I'm thankful for you guys also. Um, so happy early birthday to me. <sighs> so yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. UFC five. What do you guys think? Do you have high hopes for it? What what do you want from this iteration of UFC five? Do you think do you want some stuff to come back? Do you want some stuff to be cut out from UFC four that hopefully they'll make it? Like because I'm hoping they add more fighters, really work on the ragdoll physics. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that they have got to do with this iteration. This new iteration coming out when it does come out for your C5. And I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that, <coughs> ooh, excuse me, that, ooh, that it's going to be on PC. I'm pretty sure that um, it might be on might be on Steam. I think it might be on Steam. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. No. It's not even on PC. So yeah, it's going to be strictly for consoles. And I don't think I saw it. Saw it going to be for last gen consoles. So I might be missing out. So. Eh. Oh well. All right. So that's a bummer. I did. But yeah. That. That's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about for right now. Oh, speaking of UFC and fighting, yo, yo, tomorrow night, yo, Terrence Bud Crawford versus Errol Spence. That's going to be a banger. Who you guys got for that fight? I've been talking with somebody from my mom's church, one of the mothers at the church, and uh, several people at the church who's been keeping up, who's been, I think a couple of people who's going to be for Errol Spence. Me, I'm with Terrence Bud Crawford. I want to see Terrence knock Spence out for that fight. But, yo, tell me who you got for that fight tomorrow night. Because, yo, that, that's going to that's gonna be good. I'm going to make sure I stay up for that fight. Yo, tell me who you got in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys later. Y'all be safe out there. Peace.